my talk. I put the name of my co-workers. We are from Katowice, south of Poland, about 60, 650 kilometers from here. So it's by Ukrainian standard, perhaps not far away, but by Russian st standard, it's almost nothing. Okay. I begin with showing you the molecule of cholesterol. I think it's no risk because we are after lunch. It consists 74 atoms, mostly hydrogen and, and carbons, and one, one oxygen. And as everybody knows, cholesterol, my, my talk is related to the uh, medical physics, and everybody knows that cholesterol is important. Uh, particularly, it appears in the uh, walls of the uh, organic cells. Organic cells are essentially uh, the bilayer, phospholipid bilayer, layer, and in between we see here some cholesterol molecules. And it, 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 there are many functions of this, I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, one of this is that it provides a kind of stiffness for, for this bilayer. Without this, this bilayer would be destroyed, therefore all cells would be destroyed and will be end of the, of the organism. Also, cholesterol appears in the blood. In, in the bloodstream, not directly, but as a component of the quite huge molecular aggregate called lipoprotein. Inside lipoprotein, which are very huge aggregates, there are cholesterol molecules. And uh, cholesterol is, a, is, is necessary for the formation of of cells, of the walls of cells, but on the other side, excess of cholesterol could be dangerous. Could be dangerous uh, inside the blood artery could develop cholesterol lodgments or domain, and then coming macrophage fudge they want to somehow eat this domain, but they cannot do it. I mean, they can eat, but they cannot get rid of it, therefore they are bigger and bigger, and this stage is called uh, foreign cell. And the next stage of the development of arteriosclerosis disease is, is it, it comes calcium, and it provides to the development of of uh, something more stiff, and this is this is the plaque, and plaque is uh, really dangerous. And here I show you the cross section of blood artery. One can distinguish a few layers. The innermost layer, this one which has a direct contact with the bloodstream. Here we have a bloodstream, and the innermost part is called endothelium. endothelium. And then there are other, other layers. And here you see a real picture of the blood artery, and in the endothelium is right here. And increasing of this, one can see here these white things, which are the cholesterol lodgments. And here is increase of this using microscopes. And the development of this, sorry. The development of this first cholesterol domain, then foreign cells, and finally the plaque, like here, leads to the uh, situation which we call like uh, arteriosclerosis. 
And here you see a real picture of, uh, of situation of one patient, and this, in that case, a medical physician, I mean physis, physician, uh, cardio physician, they offer bypasses or ballooning. And what we did, of course the solution for this should come on the molecular level, yes, or nanoscale somehow one wants to get rid of this uh, cholesterol lodgement like using maybe some more sophisticated methods, not only this microscopic like balloon, ballooning and then putting stent or bypasses. And there's a lot of activity in this direction and what we did, we made the computer simulations. We took, uh, we used computer, we, we, we used MD situation, MD, MD simulations, and uh, we took we took the protein which, is, which belongs to this layer, the innermost layer of the blood artery, which is called endothelium. And we took this molecule from endothelium and then we covered this molecule by uh, uh, cholesterol molecules. And all we did in the water environment, which is supposed to somehow mimic in the zero approximation, not even first, but the zero approximation of the blood. And, and then we think, let's see what happens if we try to come in with a carbon nanotube to this cholesterol lodgement on the surface of endothelial protein. And we did this kind of experiment. Here we came close to this uh, lodgement with the carbon nanotube. <coughs> and see what happened. And then we were pulling out this carbon nanotube. And as you see, carbon nanotube is taken away with, uh, with it, is taken away this cholesterol. So cholesterol is moving out of this endothelium protein surface. Previously it was on the endothelium surface, so it was the beginning of cholesterol lodgement, which we don't like. But when we approach with the carbon nanotube and when we were taking away carbon nanotube, the cholesterol lodgement is going with, with the carbon nanotube and uh, it's, it's partial removing of cholesterol lodgement from the surface of endothelial protein. Okay, and this uh, extraction, I would say uh, nano surgery, yes, or nano, nano cardio surgery in a computer, in a computer, not, not in real life, it, is, it was quite efficient, it is quite efficient. We had 22 cholesterol molecules and 17 has gone with the carbon nanotube. And when we came again with the clean nanotube, went to with the rest. So two intervention clean the system. And then we did similar similar experiment with the graphene, with the graphene wall. Again, the same situation, endothelial protein, cholesterol lodgement, and graphene wall. And And again, uh, uh, it is quite efficient operation, yes, uh, uh, cholesterol is removing from the lodgement and is, is preferring uh, getting close to the uh, carbon, to the, to the graphene wall.
And all these in water environments that didn't show water molecules because it's a few thousand and the picture will be uh, unclear. And this is essentially what I want to tell you. The intervention of graphene sheet or carbon nanotube can diminish the cholesterol lodgement or cholesterol dominant, which set, settle down, it settles down on the surface of endothelial protein. And these are computer experiments which results which I wanted to show you. There are some uh, additional informations. And <laughs> <laughs> I am finishing with telling you that, of course, this is computer experiment, and I am not giving you any, uh, <laughs> any uh, modern prescription as, as a doctor. Yes? I'm not a medical doctor. Just uh, all you know is it's still actual. Instead of this, eat this, and go like this. <laughs> okay. The question? Not the question, but a kind of remark. And if you would like to use uh, such uh, systems, then you have to make either nanotube or a graphene sheet uh, soluble in water. And if you add a polar uh, substituent there, then the attractive, form, uh, attractive force um, to absorb a cholesterol molecule would be smaller. Yes, um, I, I, I can tell you like this, but, but I, I, of course this is not a, not a stage of, of experimental. However, what I am thinking about I'm not thinking about like giving a patient, giving a, a, a ill person like a, a few nanotubes and let it eat, and, <laughs> and so it's not a problem of of, of solution, so, salvation. I think if one think about maybe, maybe or maybe not some application, I'm thinking rather like putting this uh, graphene or carbon nanotubes on the catheter. Catheter is a, is a, and, and it is, it's like a knife. You don't give a person a knife because he can get killed. But you use a knife as a, as a, as a tool for operation. So of course, it, nanotube or graphene should be under control on the, on the end, on the top of catheter or something like this. So it should be controlled. In that case, solution is not a problem. I mean, generally, solution could be dangerous. But like like generally, okay. And is this result uh, special for graphene? Or what I mean, for example, if uh, you would repeat your calculation with this new material, silicon, which is uh, very close to graphene. Uh, yes, we, we didn't do this. Uh, what we did recently, we we did uh, uh, similar calculations, but it's not published yet. <laughs> with a, a carbon nanotube and silicon. And it's also quite efficient, even perhaps a little bit more efficient. However, I don't know, maybe others also materials could be better. We, we did it with the carbon allotropes. And maybe just, it's an idea, yes? Maybe it's not a, a final solution. No. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It is just intermolecular interactions. It, it destroys in particles and segment of cholesterol band uh, to pure. the whole. Uh, some molecules are getting attracted of cholesterol. <laughs> the, the, I mean, attraction between uh, graphene or carbon nanotube surface is stronger than, than the pooling uh, cholesterol molecules by the surface of uh, protein, protein, endothelial protein. Without 
And we studied, we studied this system which I described. I mean, there was an endothelial protein, there was a, uh, there was a cholesterol lodgment, and we are coming in with the graphene and then getting out, and coming out of this. And Just thinking about practical application, of course, with fantastic idea. But think about the effect of the thickness of the cholesterol, because probably in your simulation you have only one layer, maybe the atomic layer practically. Uh, no, we, because if you have very thin, thin layer, so the situation will be completely different from, from this situation here. Uh, here we have a, the, this, uh, I mean, um, Cholesterol is important as a component of the uh, of the wall of the, of the of the wall, and we didn't touch this because we only attacked these hol these cholesterol molecules. We were in on the surface of endothelial protein. Uh, I mean, we attacked this unwanted uh, domain or unwanted unwanted uh, lodgment. Uh, we didn't. Uh, attack uh, this uh, cholesterol which are in between, in, in B layer. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There is another question. You showed the picture of the molecule of dynamic. What right. was the period of time during you did this experiment? Yes, we, we, we about, 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 it was about 10 nano, 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 uh, Seconds, yes, ten nanoseconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, no body. Well, I remember when the article it was written that biosilica has uh, quite good uh, impact on diminishing cholesterol. Uh, silica, silica acts. I mean uh, this. Silicon carbon nanotubes. We did recently some calculations. Seems to be also quite efficient. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.